Yo. Cheer up with the station that holds you down with the hottest hip hop, hip hop, and R&B B- joints. It's Philly's Power 99 FM. It's Philly's Power 99 with your girl Cappuccino. And with me, I got these guys. You've heard about them before. The Plastic Cup Boys. I got Naeem Lynn and Spank Horton in the studios with me. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What's Fellas? going on? Y'all got a show tonight, Punchline Philly. We got five. Oh, well, that many. So yeah. we're starting tonight. Yes. Yes. All okay. five all five of tonight. No, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be some magic happening for real. Well, what's been going on with you all? Oh man, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Man. Ah, I'm just still excited. On, man. He said, he, she said, "What's going with us?" <laughs> the Eagles won the Super Bowl. That's, that's not us. us. That's not us. Oh, oh, now he was like, "Ain't in that." He's one. a Cowboys fan. Is that no. what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Are you really though? Yeah. Well, he's, I used to be yeah. <laughs> until they didn't make it to the Super Bowl. No, 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 no. That, we, that hasn't happened in 20, 20 30 you're years. Right, so. you're right. <laughs> nah, I stopped when Jerry Jones was talking that you know punishing the players for, ah. for kneeling. Okay. Nah, okay. I had to, you know, I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. I'm real black. Okay, you Wakanda black. Not that, not <laughs> spank black. black. Not complexion black. <laughs> <laughs> On the inside, M- militant black. Oh, man, but Naeem, I know you've been doing your thing. Uh, I know, and I'm mad, I'm sad, because Survivor's Remorse is not coming back. Yep. But you were doing your acting thing for a while, too. What else is next for you, aside from just doing the comedy road? Um, career-wise? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just trying to just trying to make things happen like the next man, you know, trying to wait for that next big role, next show. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Bank. Same here. Same here. <laughs> just waiting. Ain't got nothing lined up right now, but, you know, I'm auditioning. I'm in these streets. Okay. I'm oh, in these streets. About that. Okay. Now, are we trying to stick to just comedic roles or what? Are we trying to branch out doing some drama, horror? You know, black folks always down in horror movies. I will do all that, but I won't, <laughs> I won't want to take an acting class before I jump out there with the drama. Okay. Nah, man. The no. drama. Drama. Drama's easier. You think it is? Yes, drama's easy. I think you could do drama. It's like real life. So I need to. I get <laughs> mad when they tell me I need to take an acting class to do uh, comedy movies. I'm like, because it's, it's different. It's I'm not. Wait, 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 you gotta, it's wait, not wait, the you same. You take acting classes to do a comedy movie? Yes. It's Why? Di- because That's what it's, I said. it's it's different. It's a different timing than it is when it comes to being on stage. And also, when you're on stage, you're doing your own material, so you don't have to translate what's being written. Okay. You know when when you are doing. When you're reading comedy, first of all, the stuff that people write is not funny. You're right. That's yeah. true. You know That's what I mean? True. It's not funny. So then you also have to translate into what you think they're trying to say. Then you got to bring your own your own flavor to it. It's not as simple as people think. So what Naeem said, he taking classes, thanks. Basically, you need yeah. to jump over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying don't be afraid of drama. That's what I'm saying because okay. you can do good at that. Right, oh, right. That's true. I'm teaching a lesson right here. Oh, I'll take it's it. Black History Month. <laughs> 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 Oh, you guys have a show, like you said, all weekend long, five mm-hmm. shows. Is it just you guys? Because it's usually like more, more of the Plastic Cup boys. What are the boys at? It's just us two. Okay. And uh, we got a, a opener for us, Lawrence Killebrew. Shouts out to him. He's from Philly also. Okay. Yeah. And so that's going to be a dope show. So what made you guys decide to come back on here to Philly? Uh, go where well, the we, money at. we be on tour when Kev's not on tour, uh-huh. me and him. Okay. And this was a date that we tried to cancel because once Kev said, yo, I'm back, we said, hey, let's cancel the rest. <laughs> let's get back with Kev because okay. there's more money, just okay. being honest. <laughs> let's work more money. Yeah, okay. but uh, Philly, they was like, nah, we don't want y'all to cancel. Let's find a weekend where y'all not working with Kev and what have y'all. And that's what we did. Because well, right. we do of, well here. Yeah, speaking of Kev, I know he's coming back out this way. Yes. Two shows. Are you guys going to be on the, on the tour with him as well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. y'all said there's more money. Yeah, more money. What are y'all trying to say? This weekend, y'all ain't going to make no money? Nah, so don't try to rob us because you ain't gonna make, you ain't gonna get no money. Yeah, let's put that out there right yeah, now. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't the same. <laughs> it ain't the same. It's good money, but it ain't the same. It ain't the same yeah. money. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Now, also, I gotta ask y'all because one, one of the main topics that's been around this weekend, is y'all brothers go see Black Panther. Of course. Of course. What did you think about it? Dope. What did you think about it? I loved it. Okay. I loved it. I mean, you know, the, looking at the brothers in it, I, I really loved it. Oh, you was on it for oh, some no, I can't. Oh, okay. oh, okay. You missed all <laughs> the messages for no, the eye it candy. Was, it was beautifully done. You know, everybody wanted to go to Wakanda these days and all that. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, down in Atlanta, they had some one of the air, uh, was it Delta Airlines that actually had Wakanda. United. Oh, United. Yeah, yeah, United. Yeah, United. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm sure that probably messed everybody's head up with that one. That was yeah. funny. Aside from y'all just saying dope, y'all just didn't dope. No, I, no, I thought it was... Um, I thought it was a I thought it was a great movie and it was it was right on time. Okay. It was right on time. It's what we need right now. You know, just hopefully we can keep that energy going and and you know, we are in a great we're in a great time right now for black people being on TV and on screen. Yeah. You know that that Oscar boycott, well, I didn't boycott, but you know it was <laughs> <laughs> it was the with the with the uh, no black people getting nominated a couple years ago. Right. Since then, so many things have been happening, yes. man. We have to celebrate that. We have to stop complaining and take advantage of these opportunities. 
We have to because people are like, ah, nah, nah. they still complaining. You have to understand that in this country, we are a minority. Yes. So right. we're, we're never going to be treated equally the way we really want to be right. because we're a minority. We're, we, what, 13% of the population? Yeah. So we, we have to get in where we fit in and celebrate the victory. So right. those type of movies, would y'all be interested in doing those type of movies? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'd have loved being a black man. Absolutely. Okay. He's like, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm. yeah. But you got to take them classes, Spank. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, not for that because that's drama. I don't got to take classes for drama. I that's take action. Oh, 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 yeah, that's action. That's action. Okay. Yeah, that's action. But that's uh, I enjoyed the movie, though. I, I definitely want to see a spinoff of Okoye. Was that her name? The bald head? The one that's Don't from... Uh, I, I, will miss I think it was Okoye. I think it was Okoye, but okay. I want to see them in a uh, spinoff, man. That, that was dope. A whole new thing yeah, now, I want to huh? see a whole new movie with just them. That's dope. I mean, of course, you know, Black Panther can be in it, but I want to see them. I want to see that girl tribe. That Did you dope. see that picture? Um, uh, there's, I think it's the next Avengers or something where uh, they're in Wakanda, I believe, and they got Captain America in the front leading. Did you see that? That was an interesting... That's, was it... If, if not, it be. One of them. It's like three, three... Avengers, but I know what mm-hmm. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And people were like, how Upset. yeah, how is Captain America leading this team in, in Wakanda? In Wakanda? Oh, we can't have it all, people. Yeah. <laughs> we can't have it all. Right, my bad. I, that was kind of productive to what I just said. <laughs> 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 I just I just said it. we gotta be <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, we got Naeem Lynn and Spake Harden in the building, but of course tonight you guys can catch them at Punchline Philly. So how many shows you guys have tonight? One tonight. One tonight. Okay. Okay. Two tomorrow and two Saturday. Okay, okay. So it's five shows total. Are they sold out yet? No, we got five tickets left, so hurry up and <laughs> buy your ticket. Wait, five individuals or five pairs? Five tickets <laughs> each show left. And if you don't hurry up and buy it, you're not going to make it. That's right, man. For more details, go to Punchline Philly. Make sure y'all check out these guys starting tonight all weekend long. I mean, it's almost in the Black History Month. We want to celebrate these guys while they're here in Philly. I don't want to say while you're here like y'all about to die. So I'm going to say while y'all here in Philly, all right? <laughs> Make sure y'all check out Naeem Lynn and Spank Horror Plastic Cup Boys right here in Philly on Philly's Power 89. Yo! Cheer up for the station to hold you down with the hottest hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop and R&B joints. It's Philly's Power 99 FM.